Hi, for those of you who haven't heard, this is a buff. For a start, what's unique about the product is it's manufactured to be completely seam free, which means there are no seams anywhere around the product, and there are no seams on the ends either, yet it won't fray or come undone, so it makes it the most comfortable item you can wear on or around your head. A buff's manufactured out of a microfiber, which makes it wickable, breathable, and wind resistant, which means that during the really cold weather, the microfiber increases the surface area and stops cold from passing through it, yet during warm weather will allow moisture and perspiration to pass the opposite direction, making it great for hot or cold conditions. Now its uses. For a start, it can be worn as a straightforward neck scarf, and it stops any colds, winds, chills, drafts, or anything going in or around your neck. If you're outside, it's cold, dirty, or dusty. It can be worn as a face mask, and it stops anything going in or around the face. Underneath the helmet or in the BMW convertible, there's always the driving Miss Daisy look. However, it will cover the back, the front, the whole of the head. Because there are no seams, you won't end up with any pressure points, so you don't get headaches or stitch marks around here. Freezing cold, simply gather it up, goggles on over the top, and it completely insulates the whole of the head and the neck. If you wish to keep the sun off your head or your hair out your face, pull a buff up and wear it like so, and it'll stop perspiration from running down the front, down the back, and stop the back of your neck from getting sunburn. Going running in the mornings, it can always be worn as a headband. For the ladies doing their makeup, as an Alice band. With long hair, you can tie your hair up and wear it as a scrunchie on top of your head. Or if you're more into bandanas and beanies, you simply turn a buff inside out, place your arms through the middle, and pull from one side to the other, making a bandana. Once placed onto the head, you grab hold of the back, Pull it up and it will adjust to fit whichever size head you need. Or if you're more into beanies and skull caps, turn a buff inside out. Again, place your arms in the middle, lightly twist, fold over the top, pull back down, open out, and you have a beanie or a skull cap. That's a buff. We would also like to introduce you to Polar Buff. Now, Polar Buff is manufactured using a standard buff, but it has the additional benefit of a Polartec 100 fleece attached to the end of it. The product is designed more for the winter months and the colder weather. Its uses are exactly the same as with a standard buff, except now you have the additional benefit of a Polartec fleece around here, which can be tucked into a jumper or zipped up into your jacket. One of the big differences though, when you get to the bottom of the slopes and find you wish to wear something on your head, you simply turn the polar buff inside out, lightly twist above the seam and fold the buff back down over the Polartec. Once you have done this, simply fold the Polartec up and you now have a beanie. Now, this is a Polartec line beanie, and every once in a while, Polartec becomes a little bit itchy or irritable. So, all you need to do is unfold, turn the product inside out, and refold in the opposite direction. This now makes a buff lined beanie. However, if it's really cold, you simply need to turn the product inside out one further time, creating six layers around your ears and two layers on the top, which still allows any heat to pass through. And that is a polar buff. Thank you very much.